I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. It's Turkey Day, Thanksgiving in the U.S., and you know TMZ every year always releases a list of the Thanksgiving menus at the correctional facilities that our favorite celebrities are staying at. R. Kelly, of, of course, he's in Brooklyn. He has the choice between roast turkey or roast eggplant, uh, turkey gravy, cornbread stuffing, cranberry sauce, biscuit, and pie. Sorry, Kels, no McDonald's. Uh, meanwhile, Suge Knight will be having roast turkey, green salad, cranberry sauce, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, and pumpkin pie. Hope you're getting your Thanksgiving uh, turkey on today. And uh, here is something that is just such a relief for the family and, of course, everyone who's been following this. All three men accused of murdering 25-year-old Ahmad Aubrey have been found guilty of felony murder. After just two days of deliberation, jurors reached a gu guilty verdict yesterday. All three men now face a maximum sentence of life in prison without parole. The judge also ordered that uh, all three men remain in custody until their sentencing. The McMichaels and Brian are facing, were facing nine count and a nine count indictment for chasing down Aubrey while he was out for a jog and murdering him last February. Absolutely horrific. I'm sure you've seen the video. Um, Travis and Gregory armed themselves, pursued him in their truck while Brian reportedly cut off Aubrey with his vehicle and then filmed the entire encounter. Like, absolutely disgusting. This was something everyone was waiting for. And on top of their convictions for that crime, the McMichaels have also been indicted on federal hate crime charges, attempted kidnapping, and using, carrying, brandishing, and, start, and discharging a firearm during a crime of violence. Brian was also federally indicted on hate crime charges as well and attempted kidnapping. All three men pleaded not guilty the, to those charges, and they have another trial that is set for next February. Um, they're never coming out of jail. Thank God they need to be locked up forever. Um, and, of course, uh, Ahmad Arbery's parents thanked supporters and said that their son can now rest in peace. This is why you are happy that you're living in a place where you can do what you want, pretty much, right? Uh, a North Korean man has been sentenced to death for sneaking a copy of Squid Game into North Korea. He's going to be executed by firing squad after authorities caught a group of students watching the South Korean Netflix drama. Now, the man was accused of bringing digital copies of the series back from China and then selling them on USB flash drives. So he's going to be sentenced and executed by a firing squad for bringing a film, a movie, a series into the country. Now, um, the student who bought the copy was sentenced to life in prison a student, while six others who watched it were given five years hard labor. Teachers and administrators at the school are also being punished, with some being fired and sent to work in mines. You know, watching media content from capitalist countries, specifically the U.S. and South Korea, is illegal within the dictatorship of North Korea and is punishable by death. But this is the first time that the elimination of reactionary thought and culture law has actually been implied in a case involving minors. And now the government said that they will mercilessly interrogate those arrested and trace every person in the distribution chain that will lead to further arrests. That's when you're thankful you're not living in North Korea. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel is reviving his Emmy win live in front of a studio audience December 7th with a live reenactment of the classic sitcoms Different Strokes and Facts of Life. It's a one-night only ABC event that will feature Kevin Hart as the role of, you guessed it, Arnold, Damon Wayans as Willis, John Lithgow as Mr. Drummond, and endowed as Miss... Uh, um Oh, I can't remember her name, but you know, the, the housekeeper. Um, also, a collection of A-listers will be behind the camera. Kerry Washington, Will Ferrell, Justin Theroux will all produce. Um, and uh, you can actually watch Kevin Hart right now. He is on Netflix with Wesley Snipes in a brand new drama called True Story, which has been getting mixed reviews, but I'm watching it currently right now, and I'm loving it. And last but not least, Buju has entered into the NFT space. Yes, Buju has created a collection of rare NFT art pieces that will come in both...
digital and autograph canvas. And the NFL, uh, NFT, rather, digital artwork designs are of uh, famous Buju Banton portraits, programmable features, and unlockable content for NFT o owners to enjoy. And Buju said, you know, the intention is to provide fans with a rare one-on-one -on -one Buju Banton asset collectible, which can grow in value, creating an economical opportunity for NFT holders, which is pretty cool. And he said, you know, we have to keep up with the technological advancements of our times, or we're going to get left behind. Embrace the space, pure love. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Thursday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.